wrong side of the post. You brought it around the wrong side of the post. You've got to learn. You're getting there. Clever pup. Moving fences under this huge, giant larch tree. Giving the horses fresh grass to go into. They've grazed this to the scut, which is what I wanted them to do, because I want clover to come up. So, you can see the back grazing is behind them, is coming along beautifully. Isn't that right, pup? And I found a self-sown oak tree and I've placed these large branches around it to protect it. Look at that, a baby oak tree. Hopefully it'll, I'll protect it with some more fencing. This was the huge chestnut that blew in that down in that big storm two years ago. You tree climbing puppers! Yeah! You're so clever! Oh, you're so clever! You're not going any higher. You're gonna go any higher. Out of woolly bear. Can you go any higher? No, you're gonna get, where's Maya? Maya, can you go higher? No. Bear goes a different route. Clever boy. <laughs> and Maya follows suit. The swallows are all flow flying really close to the ground just over the piles of manure in the field where all the insects are. Oh, Inca, you climbing up as well. You clever pup. <laughs> are you getting up there as well? No, you've decided that's too steep. You're gonna jump, that's a great, oh, you're gonna go down there. <laughs> clever pup. Yeah. But if I didn't have the manure that the horses dropped, the swallows wouldn't have the population of insects to survive and thrive on. Look at how deep the grass is under here. The sheep will come in. This will be a wonderful spot in the winter. All this will be protection from the weather for the sheep. She's eating grass. All dogs do this. Oh look, you're learning how to climb trees. Clever pup. Yeah. I better go back to fencing. So when the winds die down, I can let the horses out again. So they're gonna be above the big lar this huge larch tree. See, there's one larch tree, two, three, four over there, right there. So there's five larch trees in here. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't count. See, there's another larch tree. Anyway, back to work. <laughs> With my assistant employees and those learning how to do electric fencing. Isn't that right, pup? Learning how to climb trees. Such a clever pup. Place is full of the invasive white tooth vole. So the dogs love hunting for them. Climbing trees, puppy. Yeah. Clever boy. And you're a clever girl. Yeah. He's so clever. He loves doing his little bit of climbing of trees. Clever pup. Okay, back to work. And I found that oak tree. 
about a week ago, so I'm really glad I found it. I stomped through those nettles to put the fence up. I still have some more stomping to do so that the electric doesn't get shorted. You can see from right here. But look what I found. Beautiful caterpillar. Look at that. He's gorgeous. I'm gonna have to look up and see who he belongs to, who he's gonna turn into, which butterfly or moth for that matter, because he's in a nettle patch. So it could be the peacock, the small tortoise shell, uh, who else? Uh, da -da 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 -da, painted lady. Um, what's the other ones? I can't think. The comet the uh, Red Admiral. So I don't know what species of moth or butterfly. Oh yeah, there's, uh, and the moths. Those were just butterflies I named. There's about a half dozen or more that use the nettles for their babies as well. So when I was stomping, he fell off one of the nettles. So I'm gonna go and place him back inside the nettles. One, so he doesn't get eaten too, so he can turn into a moth or butterfly. So, there we go. Let's see if I can put him on the, oh, he fell down. Well, he's protected in there. Nobody's gonna go in there and pursue him. He'll climb up and pupate, turn into a cocoon. See, I've got a little bit more stomping to do. So if I see butterfly larvae, or if I see caterpillars in the nettles, I try to avoid that area. But where I went through, I didn't see any obvious signs. So protect what I can, when I can, when I see it. You can see my assistants are all here still. Yeah, all my assistants. All five, yeah. You're so good. I got worried about um, our elm tree because I saw this dead bit and I was like, oh no, it's dying. But I discovered that actually it's a branch. You can see it was right there and it was sheared off and now it's resting across the rest of that elm tree and so the leaves that are still on that branch you can see that there's some of the bark is still feeding that branch and why there's leaves still on it so I'm going to try and get a tree surgeon to come and chop it out to save the elm tree because there's another issue right here. The weight of the branch on these two branches is causing these two to rub and create a wound where the beetle, the Dutch elm beetle can get in. So got to fix that. So hopefully I'll get a tree surgeon to do this elm tree, chop out that branch. <laughs>